Hello, good afternoon, happy lunchtime. My name is Carly Cooper and I teach you how to get shift done in your life, your business, your health, and your wellness. And I'm talking to Instagram, I'm talking to Facebook, so if I'm not directly looking at you, this is why. So today I wanna talk about on our Wellness Wednesday, uh, geranium, I wanna talk about geranium essential oil. This oil, is known as the poor man's rose oil. So if you know about essential oils, you know that rose oil is a very, very expensive oil. And so if you can't get your hands on it, doTERRA actually has a roller version of rose, which makes it more accessible and affordable to the masses. But if you can't get your hands on rose, geranium is a great replacement. Um, so I'm going to go through the different ways that you can use geranium. You can use it all three ways. So aromatic, topical, and internal. So aromatic, we know that we can breathe it in, we can diffuse it, we can put a drop in our palms and smell it that way, or just take the cap off. Using it topically, we can put it directly on the skin, often using a carrier oil like a fractionated coconut oil. And we can also take this one internally, and I'm going to go through some of the benefits of using them in all three ways. So, for any of you who have geranium, you know that it's a floral oil, okay? Personally, I find this when I smell it from the cap, it's very pungent for me, right? I find it to be a very strong floral oil. I tend to gravitate more towards citrus and mint. However, when I take a drop out or I put it in my moisturizer or I diffuse it, I like geranium a lot more. When I'm smelling it from the bottle, I'm smelling a lot of oil, right? So for me, it's, it smells strong, but don't shy away from it because of that. Some people love the florals. Everybody is different, right? So um, geranium is used for a lot of beautifying properties, right? It's, it's excellent for the skin and the hair. So it helps your skin glow and your hair shine. So if you were to add a drop of geranium to your moisturizer or fractionated coconut oil, you can put it directly on the skin and it helps with fine lines and wrinkles and to help smooth out the skin and, um, and it gives you that glow. So I actually use this on my skin quite often and I do like it again when it's in a moisturizer or diluted with fractionated coconut oil. Um, you would add for an extra boost and an extra glow, um, add frankincense. So frankincense, I've already done a video on that, so I'm not gonna spend too much time, but frankincense is an anti-aging oil. So it's excellent to add to your geranium moisturizer concoction. And when you, if you're already a doTERRA member or if you're not and you wanna join this month, when you spend 200 or more, they're given frankincense for free. So this is an awesome month to stock up in some frankincense and add it to your moisturizer with geranium. That's a weird shadow. Okay, I'll just bring that down. Um, how else do we use it? We love to use this in our hair, okay? So if you were to add one to two drops to your scalp or again, troubled skin, it really helps with oily skin or oily hair. It just helps to balance out that oil or if you've got dry skin or hair, it will help to moisturize as well. So you can combine a quarter cup of coconut oil with uh, four drops of geranium, massage it into the dry hair and leave it on for about 30 minutes and then you're gonna wanna shampoo that out and it will leave your hair shiny and glossy. I didn't do it this morning, but anyway, I'm hoping that my hair looks shiny and glossy enough to warrant that comment. Okay, if you've got body odor, you may or may not be aware of it, but if you are aware of it, um, or if you know somebody who has body odor, you might gently want to suggest adding a little geranium to their underarms because this can work as a natural deodorant. We do have other natural de deodorants, but if you wanted to add a little, right? It's a good option, really good for body odor. Um, okay, now. How do we, how else can we use this for our body? It's great for liver and gallbladder support. So you would just put a drop of geranium on your abdomen or over your liver, if you know where that is. Um, if not, Google it. And you could do that once a day. 
It's good for hemorrhoids, okay? So you would add one tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil, one drop of geranium, and I'm not gonna tell you where to put it, but that's where you put it. Um, jet lag, we're just jumping all over the map here, okay? So jet lag. So putting a drop of geranium with a drop of wild orange on the back of your neck two times a day if you are anticipating jet lag or if you're suffering from jet lag. Uh, it helps with circulation. So if you've got cold hands and feet, then do a tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil with drop of geranium and put it where you need it. And you can do that as often as you need. Okay, so it's also an oil that is good for bleeding or blood issues, okay? One or two drops to the troubled area to stop bleeding. Now, obviously, this goes without saying, if this is a really bad bleed, go to the hospital, right? We're not gonna just be like, oh, I'm, I'm bleeding out, can you pass me the geranium? No, we're gonna use common sense. If there's a minor cut or irritation or wound, then you can use geranium to help stop the bleeding and to clean out the cut and uh, regenerate the tissue. PMS and balancing hormones. Geranium is a great oil for that. One to two drops on the abdomen or a drop under the tongue. Low libido. Dilute one to two drops over the abdomen or one to two drops under the tongue to increase sex drive. You're welcome. One to two drops internally to support a healthy urinary tract. Okay, so did you know that geranium is good for pretty much like all systems of the body? I didn't. So this is why this is good to know. This is why I do these Wellness Wednesdays so we can all learn a little something about our oils. Okay, now we know that the oils have physical benefits but they also have emotional benefits. And geranium is known as the oil of love and trust. So it helps to uh, restore trust when you've lost that trust or that love and feeling. Um, it encourages emotional honesty, love and forgiveness, and it can also strengthen bonds between a mother and father. Um, helps to heal a broken heart. So it softens the anger and it assists the healing process and the emotional wounds that, um, it's basically known as the emotional healer. Okay, as far as essential oils go. So if you're feeling insecure, betrayed, hurt, abandoned, rejected, loss, if you've had a sense of loss or you feel disheartened or your heart feels heavy, this is a great oil, geranium is a great oil to diffuse, to breathe it in. Um, you can put it topically over your lower abdomen to encourage a restoration of trust, support, healing a broken heart. So I always like to put these emotion, these oils over my heart because I just feel like it's just gonna, it's just a good place for it. Um, and it just helps to encourage more loving feelings. So that's what I got for you for geranium, but I'm gonna give you two diffuser recipes, okay? So we are moving into the holiday season. For many, they're very excited, they get time off and they can hang with their family, but it's also can be very stressful, right? We've got, uh, we're just wrapping up or we've got travel plans or we've got lots of parties that we have to go to or plan. So I'm gonna give you a, a diffuser blend that can help to reduce stress. So three drops geranium, two drops lime, two drops lavender. Okay, and if you wanted to make a rollerball version of that, so that means that you can get yourself an empty roller bottle, um, and then you just, instead of three drops geranium, three, two lime, two lavender, you can bump that up to like 10 each, right? And then you would fill the rest with fractionated coconut oil, and then that could be your perfume. You can put it on your pulse points like this, right? Over here, a little there. Everybody gets to enjoy it and you smell like a dream. To calm nerves, okay, this is another great blend. Uh, it's a diffuser blend, but if you just up the amount of oil that you put in, then it can become a roller blend. So for a diffuser blend, two drops geranium, two drops citrus bliss, two drops Siberian fir. And this will be a very calming, but also um, it just calms the nerves, right? Hence the name. 
So that's what I've got for you. Um, I hope you have an amazing day. If you know anybody who wants to learn more about essential oils, if they're open to learning about natural ways to support their mind and their body, feel free to reach out. I, am, I do free classes. Would love to get together with somebody one-on-one. -on -one. I could do it over the phone. Um, whatever works for you or that person, please let them let me know, and I would be happy to reach out to them and uh, and and chat. So, and if you have any questions, feel free to post them below. Feel free to private message me. You can go to my website now. My I would actually love for you to actually check out my new website. It incorporates my coaching and essential oils, and I'm super proud of it. So um, you, there's a whole section on essential oils there now where you can get a lot of suggestions on how to use them. Uh, yeah, it's just full of goodness. So let me know what you think. And if you have geranium and use it, let me know how and let me know how much you love it. And that's it. I uh, will be back with you next week where we do another Wellness Wednesday. Hope you have an awesome day today. Bye for now.